my friends and welcome back to my channel Michelle Gay Science Teacher where we talk about science for elementary students middle school students and anyone who's interested in science do you know why the balloon expanded when I put it in hot water or why it contracted or got smaller when I put it in cold water? Well, when I put it in hot water, the balloon expanded because the air inside of the bottle is warm. And when the air inside the bottle is warm, it begins to spread out. The molecules begin to spread out and move all over the place. Just like you see here where the steam is coming off this pot because the water is hot. Well, the molecules are just expanding and moving everywhere. Well, why did it collapse when I put it in cold water? Now the air is cooling off. And when the air cools off, the balloon begins to deflate because now our air is contracting instead of expanding. That means the molecules are slowing down and not moving as fast and spreading out as quickly as they did in the warm air. We're going to measure our air. I have taken a bottle and I have measured 50 milliliters by each line. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this colored water, which is cold, and then I'm going to put some hot water in the bottle so that we can create some warm air. When I do this, I'll pour the water out and I'm going to put it inside of this bottle, this jar. And when I put it in there, we're going to see the red water move up the bottle and we can measure how much air is above the red water. All right, let's do this. Take our hot water and we're going to heat the air in the bottle. Remember, air is matter because it takes up space and it has mass. Okay, we're going to put this in. I'm just going to hold it here so we can see. I don't know if you can see it yet, but the water is beginning to rise inside, so I'll lift it up a little bit. There we go. And we're going to cool off some of this. We're going to put a few cubes at the top. As you can see, it's beginning to move up get a closer shot. The water level is moving down here and the water is moving inside of the bottle. While this is moving, remember, warm air is less dense than cold air. So it rises above the cold air. Remember, anything that's less dense than something else, it's going to float on top. 
So warm air is floating on top of the cold air because it is less dense. Just like when you take certain items and you put it on top of water, the items that float, they are less dense. All right, let's see what we have. So if we start at the bottom zero, then 50, 100, 150, about 200 milliliters. So that's how much air has expanded in this bottle. So we can actually measure the air. How does this affect weather? Well, when we have air masses, air masses can meet. Warm air mass and cold air mass. When they meet together, it, it is called a front. And a front can cause rain or snow or high winds blowing. When a uh, warm air mass meets a cold air mass that's stagnant, meaning that that cold air mass is not moving, that warm air mass is going to move above it. And when it moves above it, that's when clouds form. And remember, warm air is going to float above cold air because it is less dense. We're going to be talking more about weather in the next few videos to come. I hope you enjoyed this video today and you have learned that air can contract or expand. It expands when it is warm, meaning that the molecules are going to spread out and move faster and it's going to contract and the molecules are not going to move as fast. And so then we have our warm air mass and then we have our cold air mass. All right, friends, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And I hope you have subscribed to my channel. If you have not, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. Thanks, guys, and have a wonderful day. Oh,